So Marissa, in light of the ongoing transformation, you know, what, what, how do companies need to react to? They just need to be malleable in nature. I mean, how do you, how do you prepare for all the ongoing change? It's a bit like you mentioned, I think uh, the economy, you know, there's a potential of a recession out there and, and right. who knows what's going to follow that. So, you know, what's, what's your message um, to leaders of businesses? Well, I, I always believe um, as a personal default, as a leader that you try to speak with a reasonable amount of authenticity and credibility and bring your associates along as opposed to just handing down decisions like we're cutting a budget or we're doing this. If you don't make people feel part of the understanding of the why and allow people to participate to the extent that it's reasonable in the problem solving, you have um, a you know, a, a risk with an employee population that just feels confused, scared, mm -hmm. maybe angry. Um, and I'm not saying that all leadership is fully democratized. Of course, it's not. But that there's a difference between full democratization of decision making and bringing people along. And I think the latter is really, really important. I have to agree completely with Marissa on the importance now more than ever to bring employees along early in the business planning process and ideating on the bold picture of the future. What are our values? Might we redefine our values together? So really bringing all levels of the organization into the planning process, into you know really defining the future of the company um, very early on so that they are a part of the process, that this company feels like their own and something that they want to actually invest in. Thank you.